Hello YouTube and welcome. Um, I just want to make this video because there are no videos anywhere online about this. Uh, there's tons of forums and there's tons of stuff you can read about this, but uh, there are no videos. And this will be a great visual representation of how to unlock the languages on any newer Sony cameras. For the older ones, the 63, 6400 um, A7 II, those cameras are running Android and they're quite a bit easier to unlock and do this this with but on the newer cameras um, I have a 7.3 a 7.3 and um, they're a little bit more complicated so when I when I first bought this camera I got a little scared I got it for an awesome price on eBay um, but the only problem was that it's only in Japanese like it's all um, Asian language I don't have any idea what to do with this so um, I thought it was just gonna be an easy simple thing which it is with this video I would have loved a visual video step-by-step -step tutorial instead of having to read everything um, while I was doing this but um, it is a little bit more tricky than the older model cameras so if you go to this github page you might be familiar I tried all of these instructions um, I went step by step and it didn't work at all for me I couldn't figure it out at all it says run PMCA console on the cell service shell I have no <laughs> I have no idea wh what I'm doing in service shell like I'm a photographer I'm not a programmer so I have no idea what I'm doing um, but you can look at these steps and it will be helpful too um, I looked all over the place and thank you to this girl right here in a form, Sakamiya07. She has the instructions that are perfect. So I'm going to show you these instructions visually on the computer. If you go to GitHub and you download this file, this will work for the older ones, but it won't work for the new ones. So this is the GUI v0.18 uh, and then thankfully to Sakamiya she's posted her download right here of the correct thing to use so that will be this program PMCA GUI v0.18-4 whatever I'm gonna have this file and Zadig you need those two um, programs to do this I'm going to have this program in the description of this video so you can download this and do this yourself. So, okay, your first step is to go into the menu and you're going to go to the settings tab and uh, navigate to the tab 4 and you go down here to the second list item, USB, and that will be in mass storage mode, right? That's what that says second thing down push it in mass storage mode and that's it so once that's in we can plug the camera into our computer and this screen will pop up and and this screen might pop up but don't worry once your camera is connected we'll go open zadig and uh, here's the program so first you want to go to the options tab and push list all devices um, so the 6300 is the camera I'm recording on now find your Sony camera ILCE mark 7 mark 3 sorry um, and then this will be the current driver that it's using which is Windows normal standard um, you want to find and change the driver to this LIB USB dash Windows 32 and you just push replace driver. This will take about a minute or two, uh, depending on your computer speed. Okay, so the driver has been installed. You might have to do this a second time. So once that's done, keep Zadig open and open this GUI. So we can open this now and we can get our camera information. You'll see your camera stuff here. Um, go over to this tweaks tab right here 
and press start tweaking in service mode. In that other GUI program, service mode, this whole button is not there. So only updater mode is there. You have to use this program. I can't stress that enough. So click that, start tweaking in service mode. Your camera is going to flip back to playback. That's what mine just went. It went to the photos that I've taken. So um, right here, you have to press unlock protected settings first, and then you can click unlock all languages. So 35 out of 35 languages are activated and just push done. And this is authenticated, it's done, and that is all you need to do. You can exit that um, before... Just replace this driver just to be safe. It's already unlocked now, so you can just make sure that it works perfectly with Windows. Oh fuck, I just fucking installed the drivers for my... Whoops. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay, well I accidentally just messed up my camera by updating the drivers for that camera and, and not this one, but, but we are finished. So now we can just unplug this and it should be unlocked. We'll go to our menu. We'll go to the settings tab. And we'll go to page four. Down here at the bottom, you can see that little uh, booklet. That's gonna be your language and English. And look at that. We have converted and unlocked our language for our Sony A7 III, four, all of them so that's my uh, visual tutorial on how to fix this and, and make it work so um, yeah if you got any questions leave a comment and make sure you use the link that is in the description if you're on Mac don't message me because I don't know I have no idea thanks guys hope this helps good luck with everything